Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review on Hard Candy products. Hard Candy can be located at Walmart, like your local Walmart store, or Walmart.com for an average of $6. And um, just a little off topic, I'm in a new like location. I'm actually in a bathroom, as you can see. Um, and I like the lighting better in here. Let me know if you guys like it because it's all about you guys promise and so if you guys don't like it I can try somewhere else I just don't like the lighting in my bedroom it just doesn't show off the correct colors and um, I'm just trying to find new places sorry find new places to film so yeah um the company that I'm going to be reviewing is hard candy I'm sure you, all of you have heard of it I mention it a lot in my videos um, so, I'm just going to get this out there. I was sent these products for free, but that will never change my opinion on the products. Um, either I like it or I don't like it. I mean, I don't see why people would lie about that, but, you know, it does happen. But I'm sure you guys can trust me enough that I won't, like, you know, lie about products. So, um, I'm going to lean. Sort of, because my back kind of hurts. Okay, so the first product that they sent me is the In the Shadows palette, okay, and this is in Temptation, and it is just a brown palette, like, you can make a very nice neutral eye with this for school or even going out in public, um, I really like this, and I'm going to show you guys some swatches, alright, so this first color right here, this like bronzy shimmery color, is right here, is right here, Okay, and then this color goes with uh, this color. And then there's the dark brown color right here. And that is this dark brown color. Okay, and then you have this peachy kind of tan color. And that is right there. Um, these two colors are very similar to each other, but there's definitely a difference. This one has more of a peachy kind of tan tone, and yeah, so I really like that. And then right here is just an off-white color down at the bottom for your highlight, and that swatch isn't very good because I wiped it off, but there we go. And there's people standing out at my door. Go away, I'll be back here in a minute walk away and they're giggling as they're walking away sorry neighbors over and we're getting ready to go walk dogs and stuff so um yeah so and then this little addition that comes above it is the hard candy eyeshadow primer and you guys are probably thinking come back into focus please and thank you what it's like having spasms okay so you guys are thinking whoa Jess that it will last you like two days. Let me show you how much you need. Whoa, not nearly that much. Alright, you need not even that much. That will cover your lid, your crease, or your lid, your brow bone, and like lower lash line. And I think that is just amazing. Like it's so spreadable and so like nice to work with. It's so pretty and these two put together are God. Like, they are amazing. They they stay on all day. I had an 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. day on Saturday, and these colors didn't fade, crease, or smudge, or anything like that. And I'm very happy with this, and this is probably one of my new favorite eyeshadow palettes. So, I am really, really loving this. Um, this comes in, this comes with .28 ounces. And, um, yeah. Oh, and Hard Candy also does not test on animals. On every single product of theirs, they always say, um, oh, maybe not on the little baby eyeshadow primer. I don't know. Um, but pretty much on every bigger product that they have, there's always a little phrase somewhere. We heart our animal friends and we don't test our products on them. And I think that's very sweet and... I'm against anim like putting makeup on animals, but um, you can't really change it. I mean, you can make a difference if you get a campaign going and stuff, but um, I just, 
I am all for not testing on animals 100% and I just I'm very disappointed in companies that I've recently found out that they test on animals and it kind of changes my opinion on the company so this is very nice I'm very glad that they don't test on animals and these colors are very pigmented and just very nice and it's like a book it's magnetized right here I think that's really nice so if you like put this in your bag or something it won't come open and like ruin your eyeshadows because it's magnetized and then it's just a very thick plastic cover on here so overall 100% I like these. Um, next product is another eyeshadow they sent me and it is one of their Meteor Eye Baked Glitter Eyeshadows and this is in Outer Space number 278. I also have... what is up with my camera not coming back into focus? I think my mom dropped it. She went on a trip and she brought it. And I don't know. Um, but Anyways, so I have another eyeshadow in, like this, and I really, really like it. And it is in um, Meteor Shower. I'm not very sure what it is, but I really like it. I've had it for, I don't know, a couple months now. And it just this one is in Outer Space, and I like this. And I like it because the colors contrast so well, and I think that is so pretty. Because, like, silver glitter going against a black-based eyeshadow is just very unusual, and you don't really see that all the time, and I think that is just great that it's a very unique product itself. So, um, pigmentation is very, very nice. Look at that. Yeah. And the glitter really does come off as glitter. Like, you can see. Like, that's a lot of glitter. Um, this product comes with 0.11 ounces, and I'm just going to take a little handy-dandy toilet paper right here and just wet my finger off because I don't want to get it on my jeans or anything. Um, one thing that you do have to um, watch out about this, though, is that the glitter can get everywhere if you're not very careful. So if you know that you're not going to be very um, careful with this, like if you're messy makeup putter on her, um, you just put a catcher down here, um, for example, like a t paper towel or something, and it will catch the extra glitter or eyeshadow that falls onto your face. And then you have a clean face after that. And also it has We Heart Our Animal Friends. We don't test our animal or our animals on them. Um, our products on them. So that's very nice. Um, these shadows stay pretty much all day. Um, they're not as smooth as these eyeshadows though. Maybe it's because they're baked or something. Um, but they're not as smooth. So... Um, I don't know, there's, I like these better than this, oh, like I like this a lot more than this, but this is still really nice. Um, so next is this Visibly Wet Shockingly Glossy Lip Pencil, and this is in Beauty, okay? And this is the color, as you can see I've used it a lot, um, I'm gonna go ahead and state the downfall of this. The product decreases very fast. I've only used this four times at the most, and um, I noticed that it's very little now, like it was a normal pencil form. Um, but I'm not sure if Hard Candy sells jumbo lip pencil sharpeners, but the nearest one I can think of is at Ulta for like NYX jumbo eye pencils and stuff. Um, but those aren't very expensive, they're like five dollars. Um, I like this. It doesn't stay on as long as I would want it to, though. Um, but I do really like it because it glides onto your lips so nicely. And it's very pigmented. I love this. I love this. love this so, so much. Like, you can see that. And it's so glossy for um, the time that it stays on. And it's just, whoa. And it doesn't chap your lips, I don't think. And um, my friend Tommy has one of these. And she... And she really likes it. Um, she's like, guys, you have to go get it. And I was like, you know, it's a lip pencil, whatever. Now I know what she's talking about because this is awesome. Let me tell you guys. Um, and it's just very handy just to put in your purse. And then she's like, oh, okay, I can just put this on now. Um, I'm one of those people at school where I get bored very easily. And so I sit there and look through my bag. Oh, a chapstick. I'm going to put this on and just sit there whole hour just kind of circling it on. So that's why I kind of run out of chapstick a lot. Um, so I'm the person that would like sit there and go, and, ow, I just like hit myself. Um, but I'm, 
my webcam or my webcam my camcorder wiggles when I do that um but this has 0.11 ounces in it and it's very very nice I really like this the color payoff is beautiful does that make sense the color is beautiful beautiful and the payoff is awesome okay next product this is probably one of my favorites um this is the walk the line liquid eyeliner all right see that all right and this is in lucky it's kind of ironic seeing how well I'm pr pretty sure they like thought of this but since it's green and green is a trigger object for or trigger color for um, St. Patrick's Day you know it's kind of ironic that they would pick green and I'm sure that's what they thought of so um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this this is a felt tip liner and all right, I'm going to show you the problem that I have with this, though. All right, do you guys see a problem here? There you go. Okay, so when I put this on the first time, I really loved it. As you can see, the color payoff is amazing. It's very opaque. Um, one thing, though, when you apply this, I actually have it on right now, by the way. I really like it. Um, I'm kind of doing a lemon and lime eye today as you can see um what I do to n okay so when you put it on there's um excess product above and below your initial um, initial positioning of the product so what I do to fix this problem is I just um, wipe off the excess product and it will just glide on nicely Okay, then you just have a very nice line, and then just, I like it. Um, this has very fine um, yellow shimmers, and I really do like this. I'm, they have such a variety of colors. I see these all the time at my Walmart, and like I just want to go out and buy them all now because these are so nice. They don't chip. They stay on for a really good amount of time, like eight to nine hours, which that's enough for my day. I'm in bed by 7. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually up pretty late, but still, you take your makeup off fairly early. Um, but I really do like this. Um, I, um, really, um, the payoff is just, it was incredible. I was so surprised to find out how much, like, how good this product was, because I was kind of skeptical at first. Um, but yeah, I really do like this, and you guys should definitely go check these out. Like, you can see, it's very nice. Alright, and the last product they sent me, they're outside yelling through the window. Um, the last product they sent me is the Lash Tinsel Glitter Mascara, and this is purple. I am so excited about this, and I, like, I was excited, and I still am excited. Um, this is so heavy. Like, okay, I'm gonna sit back here. Okay. This is so heavy, which tells you that there's a lot of product in here. Actually, there is 0.60 ounces in here. Um, this is in Voodoo. Okay. Alright, and I'm going to show you. You can see the glitter in this. Alright, just look at this. Okay, and... It's just, um, it makes your eyelashes so, like, glittery. I don't know if you can see that, but when the light hits you just right, you have, like, glitter mascara on. Like, it's noticeable, and I think that is just awesome. Like, I wore it today, and my friend, we were on the bus, and, uh, I guess the sun was shining, because I'm on the bus at, like, 7 in the morning, and the light was shining just right. She's like... Oh my god, Jess, your eyelashes are crazy, crazy, crazy glittery. And I was like, really? And she's like, yeah, that is so pretty. And I was like, yeah, it's this new mascara I've been trying. And, oh. So this is definitely a plus. I love this. I think that's, like, good enough. I've That just, like, was awesome. So this stays on all day. I mean, it's a mascara. It's supposed to. So I do really like this. Um... You guys should definitely go check out their mascaras. 
I'm running low on time, but that was the last product, so I really want to thank you guys for watching, and I love you guys so much. Thank you, Hard Candy, for sponsoring me, and thank you guys. Love you guys. Bye.